That's Fisher. Good look, not a good pass. But that one was. Villanova wants the up tempo. Reynolds around a baseline screen. Oh, you can't leave him that open. Great layup shooter. Outside. Way too strong. Revis trying to control the rebound. And the save starts a possible Villanova break. A thing of beauty. Fast break basketball. 94 feet, Scott. One dribble. Here. That's a pretty move by Fisher. And the put back will work, an eight point going over run. And a timeout for USF. Door with the depth they have. We're going to talk a little bit about that tonight, too. From your perspective as a coach, when you've got 11 guys in a rotation, it's kind of hard to manage. Of course, that guy can be in as much as he wants. <laughs> a reckless style up and down, pressing fast break. You have to have more guys. Reynolds leads the team in minutes, and he's not over 30. He's only 29. That's a great look inside to an open pain here. Right, because he just became a dad for the first time on Monday. London Lene Famous was born on Monday. Pena on the inside. Count it. And a chance at a three-point play. At all. And then the other thing, it gets the other team into the free throw situation sooner. Stokes. He used to live out there, and if he can again, this becomes a more dangerous team. Contact, and the call goes back the other way as Fisher stood in and took the charge. The two Corys taking care of business. Stokes with the three at one end, and Fisher at this end sacrificing his body to take the charge. Four, including the one we're watching here. The other was a UConn team that's coming on now. Fisher got stripped. Redding got it back. Stokes again. Booked it. Right spot. He's got a pretty shot, doesn't he? They've beaten two really good teams in, in Georgetown and Pittsburgh. So they're making progress. Since they entered the league when those Conference USA teams came in, they've been sort of near the bottom. Oh! oh. Ha, ha. Are you kidding? Ten on the degree of difficulty scale. I will give USF credit, though, because Villanova team averages 84 points a game. They've got 27 here right now, late in the first half. Started the game holding the ball a little. Range is the building for Taylor King. Woo! He's got no problem letting go from 25. Pace right now. This is to Villanova's advantage. So is that. Great layup shooter. A great, great layup shooter. Twists and turns. They appreciate him here at Villanova. The most famous of his floaters was last year against Pittsburgh when they went to the Final Four. But those kind of shots always available with Scotty Reynolds. Take a look at this. Weaves through traffic. Short player. High off the glass because of the challenge. And then how about this? Going to the basket. The offhand underneath. Yikes. In the game. That is excellent perimeter defense. A lot of switching going on by the Wildcats. Randall's off balance, had a tip by Howard King there to pick him up. I remember when I first saw him at Duke when he was playing. He's... Opaney again underneath. And Cheek got the tip in. Right place at the right time for Mr. Cheek. Game has been very, very effective. Redding's got two personals. Something they may look to prey on here. Well, there's your switch, and there's your help defensively, and Pena finds a way to convert with a chance at a three-point play. You'll excuse him for not having the point guard skills with the easy <laughs> dribble. <laughs> well, the trap was good, and uh, the rest was sort of an adventure, but he finished it off nicely. You know, and that's what Dominique Jones is facing against Villanova in this game. Going to give you much offense, and I don't think he's really a shot blocker type either. He's a uh, space eater. Wow. Alan Ray, one of the all-time leading scorers here at Villanova, enjoying what he's seeing from Antonio Pena.
in the half court and in transition. Seven possessions have produced three Villanova turnovers. And Redding answers back. So what does Villanova do? They don't run that play. They do stuff on the ground, you know, and uh, that's how you win games. As you point out with a team that doesn't have one definitive gigantic big man, it's kind of how it has to be. Reynolds. First time they went under the screen and he drills it. Wow. This guy knows basketball. Been out of the game some. They have trapped Reynolds on all ball screens. They've stayed in front of their men pretty well and they've rebounded pretty well. Count that and Corey Stokes is going to get a chance at a three point play. Well, Stokes just muscles his way to the basket on this one. Ryan Cardock just got in the game. He knows that he's just sub. And as a result, his eyes light up, takes it strong. Notice the two foot stop, so he stays on balance. Uses the glass nicely. That was something that. Good. But USF is having none of it. Shot clock down, down under 10. Reynolds. What an angle. <laughs> Man. Characteristic of that great player when they need it. Four turnovers in the last seven possessions for these guys. There's a skip pass and Mercer missing on the shot. Big rebound for Famous. And Fisher anticipated the pass. Now one on one basketball. Not going to stop him in the open floor. And Stan Heath has to burn a timeout because suddenly the lead is back up to 14. Villanova is explosive. They do it out of their defense. And right here, Corey Fisher in the open floor. He's coming into your living room. Don't let him knock over the potato chips. And right here, the fade on the baseline. Mr. Clutch in the Big East the last three years. Doing it again when his team needs it. You know, big, big difference. Hard to move up in this conference. If you pick the time to move into the Big East, this wasn't it. <laughs> Cheek, another steal, and a payoff. They can explode. Two possessions in a row where they steal and go down and make a layup. It is. He'll go to the line when we come back. Going over, turning defense over to offense on the way to their biggest lead of the night. Five for Villanova off 19 USF turnovers. There's Cheek, and he can explode with that first step. Well, I'll tell you, that was the first possession of zone defense, and they used a 2-3 zone, trapped on the sideline. He stepped right through it, 46, and they'll have them in Tampa, where they play a lot better. It's assuming they can get back to Tampa. <laughs> oh! That was awfully close to offensive interference. Give credit for the basket to Cheek. Won the first matchup there at Morgantown. Across three minutes left to go, and Jones had it taken away by Reddick. Running ahead with Fisher. Got it. They get a lot of lamps, don't they? That's why they score 82 points a game. One over's not stopping. And now, pull it back out again. Crowd is calling for Wooten. I think he's just about to get the call, yep. Going crazy for Russell Wooten, the <laughs> walk-on senior. Gotta love it. Good look inside from Reynolds to Yaru. How about the left? Impressive. This one. It would be nice. Reynolds, watch him. He's going to try to create for uh -huh. Watch the pass. Yep. Nope, went the other way because it came open. And he'll have a chance at a three-point play. Can this guy weave through traffic or what? He goes through four or five guys right here. An uncanny ability to get...